Hello. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. Welcome back to Subconsciously Conscious. If you're new here, hi. My name is Stephanie. And in this podcast, we talk about spirituality, well being, our subconscious mind experiences and just always unlearning to learn we just remain humble and stay open to new possibilities and new perspectives and all that good stuff I wanted to talk about allowing yourself to embrace every part of your journey and not trying to change it I've recently begun to go through some weird kind of headspace in my life right now it's almost like I'm in between and instead of trying to get out of this space as soon as I can and and run from what I'm experiencing in this weird moment in my life I've just kind of started surrendering to it. We're all art pieces still in progress. You know, we've only experienced, if you're my age, I'm 23. We've only experienced about one eighth of life. God willing, we experience the whole eights, right? But I don't know, I feel like Sometimes we go through things, right? We go through experiences and kind of leaves you in between of what you went through and what you want to create out of this experience that you're going through and out of all the emotions that are coming in for you. So you're in between and you're like, but I want to be there already instead of just kind of being like, look, this just happened to me. Whether it's a loss or whether it's a big change in your career, in your life, maybe it's just a mental change. You know, I think a lot of us are going through a lot of mental rewiring, mental reprogramming um, in relationships with our values and money, with what we wanna do in life, with our self-worth. And so you're doing all this work, right? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and there's other people who are just going through other changes right losses and stuff and so that leaves you in between it leaves you it leaves you in the moment where you can reflect on what's happening and really feel what's going on around you feel the changes embrace the changes and just kind of see it for what it is and you will get out of it like i think sometimes we just become so afraid of staying stuck in the in-between staying stuck in the abyss staying stuck in i'm experiencing this and i'm so afraid of being stuck here i'm so afraid of being stuck in the loss or being stuck in the fear or being stuck in the unknown being stuck in the change itself rather than changing rather than adjusting to the change But that's the whole part of the in-between, right? It's adjusting. It's figuring out what's next, figuring out how you can use this experience to then create something more for yourself and for everybody around you. It's using our emotions as tools to what we want to experience more of and less of. Less drama, less less stress, less anxiety, more fulfillment, more joy, more pleasure, more peace. But in order for you to gain that, sometimes you, not all of us, but sometimes you got to go through what's not going to give you that, the contrast, right? And you got to remain grateful through that contrast. Because without contrast, we don't have the ability to decide what we want you get me does that make sense i think no matter who you are no matter how you grew up we all experience contrast but there's a there's 
a majority of us, at least for my generation, who are actually using that contrast to create new experiences and new outcomes and new possibilities and new mindsets and shifting the old mindset, shifting the old perspective into new ones and bringing along the next generations with us, you know, and then kind of allowing them to be like, well, what about this? And I don't know. I just feel like my nephew, he's only nine years old and he teaches me so much, you know, and that's that in between. That's that in between of being the person who's breaking cycles and rewiring and creating new and figuring out, okay, this is how I was taught to go through loss and go through these experiences that are bringing up these emotions for me. But how am I going to decide for myself? How, like, what do I need? And what am I going to do for myself, you know? And then comes a new generation or a new person. It doesn't have to be a whole generation. It could be a whole new person, right? That has a whole new perspective. And you're just like in between. You're just like, wow, I see this perspective and I see this perspective and I see my perspective. And I'm just in between them all. And I might use this perspective sometimes. And I might use this other perspective sometimes. And I might use my own. But I'm open to everything, you know? So if you find yourself in between careers if you find yourself in between love if you find yourself in between life like you're just like there's so many things to do there's so many things to explore and maybe you just want to try them all out and allow yourself to make mistakes allow yourself to bathe in that contrast that's okay and it's okay to use your time to try out different things but always go towards what makes you feel most fulfilled what makes you feel more at peace and what makes you feel more joy in that joyful state because I think some of us go through shit in the past that's not so pretty so then whenever something good happens to us we don't know how to receive it we don't know how to indulge in it it's almost like dangerous to have pleasure and where we're we're rewiring all of that we don't we don't want to be stuck in that forever so if you're in between lean more towards the fulfilling side reflect on your past reflect on the darkness reflect on the loss but don't let it consume you because like i said there's it's only one eighth of life that we've lived and we still got a lot of living to do, a lot of dying to do, a lot of learning and we'll figure it out, you know? So this is just, I just wanted to record something tiny, a little message because I've been a little blocked lately hence why I haven't been too much on the podcast but I hope this inspires you and this gives you comfort in knowing that it's okay to be in between you're gonna come out on the other side stronger peace and love